Guys, welcome to the show. Uh, me and this dog are excited to have you here, and I hope you had a good weekend. We had a very good, very eventful weekend. Thrilling, if I can be honest with you, but we won't go into that now. This is not the show for that. We had a question that rolled in uh, within the comments from one of you, and it said, is it ever a good idea to invest into your neighbor's house, right, to increase the value of your house? And they said, you know, kind of exterior, you know, clean up stuff only. But hey, let's talk about it. So here would be my opinion and a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, it really only matters in the time period leading up to you selling your house. If you said, hey, six months from now, I'm planning on selling my house. And the neighbor's house across the street or two doors down, like, you know, very tight radius to my house is looks like total shit on the outside and it's kind of a junker. Should I invest into that neighbor's house in order to increase the value of mine? Well, uh, again, the timeline is, is paramount because what you're trying to do is, is create higher comparable sales within your neighborhood. Comparable sales are really only relevant within the past six months. So I'd say if it's anywhere further than six months out from you selling your house, doesn't matter because the comps just aren't going to be used. You're like, oh, we're going to sell our house in three years. Should we clean up that neighbor's junky yard? No, because it's three years from now. If you're within a six month window, mm, some of those sales could be used as comp. So it could make sense. My two cents would, would be this. If it's low hanging fruit, like they have a messy yard, they just got a bunch of crap around their yard and it's either an older couple or just junky human beings, which they're are um yeah it may make sense you know just to add to the curb appeal of your home and any of the upcoming sales that might be happening in the neighborhood it's a little bit of psychological warfare kind of a hearts and minds strategy actually it's not a hearts and mind strategy it's a comparable sales strategy but um yeah that could make sense like basic landscaping stuff go and look there's you know plant a couple bushes clean up the junk at the end of the day it's really just sweat equity it just costs us you know, a couple Saturdays here and there, and, and we might get some benefit. Sure, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll sign off on that. If it's a matter of going, obviously you don't care what the neighbor's interior looks like because no one's gonna see that. Again, all you're going for is curb appeal here. If, if you said, oh man, like their roof is in shambles, should we get a, a new roof? Absolutely not. The second we start venturing into anything that's gonna cost you any significant money, and I would say for the purposes of this example, significant money would be anything much over 500 bucks no i wouldn't do it because it's just too speculative right it's this speculative play of man maybe if we put five grand into their house we'll get an extra 10 grand out of ours risky strategy i don't like it so in my opinion only if it's a sweat equity play it's not really going to cost you much money then i would say go for it beyond that no go for my for, for my two cents um <clears throat> quick bourbon nope Along the lines of what I just mentioned about the weekend, we just finished a very big project on our uh, other channel. Really exciting. Like, I, you know, I really, uh, man, I'm, I'm just proud of what our, our little uh, team accomplished this past weekend. So to celebrate, I'm going to pop this bottle of Blanton's tonight. I'm going to have myself a nice T-bone steak, and I'm going to pop some Blanton's and have some potatoes like a red-blooded American. Is Blanton's overrated? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like Rolexes where it's like even non-watch people know what a Rolex is. Blanton's is that to the bourbon world. And unfortunately, because of that, it's driven the price up where the bottle of Blanton's in reality is like 50, 60 bucks or something like that. But because of the hype machine behind it, they wind up selling on the secondary market for like 200 bucks or so. Sorry, this microphone wire is just not cooperating. I'm trying to move it around. So anyway, that's what I'm going to have tonight. I hope you have some alcohol tonight and get smashed, get lit everyone, it's a Tuesday. You gotta do something on Tuesday night, right? So hope you guys are doing well. If you need real estate help, let us know. That's what we do behind the scenes um, is sell people like you real estate. So if you need help, go to 1911syndicate.com, check that out. And if you don't, then go to hell. It's a terrible way to end, but I've got nothing else. So let's just leave it there. See you guys.